Right, so I wasn't planning on doing a part two to the brake master cylinder fitting video. Um, however, when I shared the video, as I do normally if I think videos are going to be particularly helpful, I will share them on Facebook groups. Um, there are a few keyboard warriors who were rather plain that I'd done it wrong. So there were also many helpful people. So to those people, thank you. To the people who weren't so polite in pointing out the fact the bolts had to go the other way, even though I'd already mentioned I thought they might need to, do a YouTube search for Valtteri Bottas winning in um, Russia. See the message that he will give you. So uh, basically, firstly, the thing I wasn't sure about was the return spring I put in. That apparently is actually part of the uh, piston inside the master cylinder. Uh, the cutaway photo I was looking at when I looked at that didn't show it being internal. Um, so I figured I haven't got one, I'll order it just in case. It was only a few pence anyway. And the other situation that was pointed out to me, um, I'll take, I've jacked up the car so I can give you a better um, angle and you can see axle stand under the front side frame. So you can see the bolts there are quite close to the uh, torsion bar. This is the torsion bar here. There's the end of the nuts and bolts. And on the other side, we've just got the heads sticking out there. Um, now I need to turn these around. Uh, apparently, like I suspected, the torsion bar as it moves can touch the ends of the bolts. So, so that's what I need to do. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that the master cylinder doesn't move. I'm just going to do one bolt at a time. I need to try and find myself a lever bar or a big screwdriver that I can lever the torsion bar down with. Um, having jacked up the car, it will, it's just touching the ground. Um, but the fact that I can, it's taken the weight off the suspension should hopefully make life a little bit easier for me. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so I've got the nut off one side. I need to switch hands. Here we go, and we'll pull it out that way. Right, so what I need to do is, it'll go in most of the way actually. Uh, let's see if I can pop the camera up somewhere where you'll be able to see this. I'll do that and find my screwdriver. It does actually work quite well for lever in the torsion bar. Will it be enough? Let's take that out. No. I don't think it likes my washer being there too much, so let's move the washer down closer to the threaded section while we leave out the torsion bar. Do you remember at the end of my last video when I said that it seemed a bit too easy? Well, normally when things seem easy, it's because they are. I might have to grab a hammer. Just try and knock that through, I think. Right, the other way of doing this is actually quite easy. Sacrificial screwdriver. As you can see, it's already started to bend. Maybe I should use one a bit stronger. Under the torsion bar, and then the bolt goes through. Uh, kind of hoping to find out that the jack down. There we go. And the screwdriver pretty much straightens out anyway, so can't have been that far that close to snapping, I wouldn't have thought. It is now stuck. Just use the other screwdriver. Ping. There we go. Well, that's one of them around the white right now. So. Obviously, if you're going to do this at home, be really, really careful because the last thing you want is a screwdriver snapping and hitting you in the face. So just be really, really careful and stay well clear. But that works quite well. Um, other people, what they suggested on the helpful people, what they suggested on the uh, Facebook groups is to use a pry bar. Obviously, I don't really have the clearance lying around on the floor out here. Um, if it was running and driving, I'd obviously be able to drive it up onto, I've got some ramps.
And there you have it. That is the proper way to fit the bolts in the master cylinder.